In this video, we are going to have a look at a different model. Normally, we cover large language models or audio models or vision language models. But in this video, we are going to install a BERT model. A BERT model is fundamentally different from LLMs like GPT-4, Claude, Llama in both architecture and purpose. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Before I show you the hands-on installation and we play around with this, which I'm sure you are going to love, let me explain in very simple words what exactly is this model because it is extremely important to learn the difference with this model from the rest of the lot to enjoy this video. I promise I will keep it as simple as possible. While LLMs are autoregressive models that generate text by predicting one word at a time in sequence like writing a sentence word by word from left to right or writing a paragraph. BERT is not autoregressive. It processes entire sentence simultaneously by looking at all words at once in both directions, left to right and right to left. This bidirectional approach makes BERT excellent at understanding context and meaning within text, but it cannot generate new text like LLMs do. Think of LLM as creative writers that produce new content, while BERT is more like a reading comprehension expert that deeply understands existing text. The way BERT works is, it is more like it understands the semantic relationship in your text. So, First, it uses um, an embedding model to convert your text into numerical representations or vectors. And then once you give some queries, it matches it with that document and then gives you the similar results back on the basis of some scores. And that is what we are going to check out in this video. Another cool thing which you need to learn for this is Pilot. Pilot is a Python toolkit that is specifically designed to make Colbert models easy to use for document retrieval tasks. It handles all the complex technical details like encoding documents into embeddings, building efficient search indexes, and performing fast similarity searches. Pilot essentially turns any Colbert model into a powerful search engine that you can use with just a few lines of code, abstracting away the mathematical complexity behind semantic search. Now coming back to this specific model, which is Reason Modern, modern Colbert, it is a specialized version of the original modern Colbert model, which we already have covered on the channel. And this has been uh, fine-tuned specifically for reasoning intensive retrieval tasks. While the base model is good at general semantic search, and we saw that in that video, this version excels at finding documents that require complex reasoning and logical connections. It was trained on the reasoning dataset, which contains examples of queries that need multi-step reasoning to find the correct answer, and we will also check it out shortly. So I think enough theory, let's go and try to get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm using a virtual environment with Conda. I already have it. So first step you need to do is to just install this pilot library. It's very lightweight and already installed on my system, but I've just done it just to show you how exactly this works. So now, the way we can run this model is by using this code, which is available from their Hugging Face page. But let me try to explain it in as simple words as possible as what exactly this code is doing. Now, primarily, this code is building a complete document retrieval pipeline using this reasoning modern Colbert model. First, as you can see, it is importing the library, then it is loading the pre-trained model with, and this automatically downloaded it from Hugging Face on the first run. Then it creates this very interesting Voyager index. If you don't know what Voyager index is, it is a high performance vector database that uses the HNSW algorithm to store and search through document embeddings efficiently. Think of it as a specialized filing system that organizes mathematical or numerical representation of your documents in a way that allows lightning fast similarity searches. So instead of storing document as text, Voyager stores them as dense vector embeddings that capture their semantic meaning. 
so here we are creating this voyager index and feeding them around five of um, different documents logic math science and history so these are document ids and these are document you can of course use your use your actual documents in place then we are converting them into a mathematical or numerical representation we are then storing them into this index and then we are initializing our retriever with the colbert which will match and retrieve the relevant documents with these queries so whatever the query is it will go in and check okay which query is closer to logic or math or science and then it will retrieve the document and we can check if it was correct or not through the score which it prints out and this is the score which we will get and then we are going to print it out and this is the driving loop which primarily takes the query goes into the document and retrieves the actual document so this is what this code is doing okay so now let me take you back and we are going to run this from our local system as i said first time it downloads the model so you see it is downloading the model which is not that huge and now it is doing some retrieval so let's wait there you go it was very very quick as you can see now if you look here what it has done after downloading the model and everything it has converted our queries and documents into numerical representation and then it is matching them and also it has converted each document into 128 dimensional vector embedding that has captured their semantic meaning and has stored them in the index with unique ids now you see it has given all the scores for example for this query 2 model believes that this document matches and you can see that it has done exceptionally well so it is an end-to-end -end document retrieval pipeline which we have built in a GV with few lines of code and i'm just checking all the queries all the documents i think it has done wonderfully well and the score is very high for where it has corrected which has selected the correct option so look i think one of the best retrieval model and then you can see that it is also reasoning it through i mean because i'm just printing few of these but if you look at it it has done wonderfully well in terms of reasoning too now just to show you a full reasoning uh, text of let's say for one random query i've changed the code a bit and not only it is going to just show us the reasoning code it used but also we will be testing out what how much vram it converts so i'm just going to run this so you see no vram at the moment let's go back let's run this while it downloads a model keep an eye on the vram consumption so you see very minimal vram you can even simply use it on your cpu if you like so just over one you know one gig is nothing and there you go so this is the reasoning which it has done pretty concise but quite well and that is why this is a score so look i think another wonderful model in this series as i said we already have been covering the modern bird in and the other bird model from different angles for a long time now and it seems that in the last few months this has really blown up so check this out let me know what do you think if you like the content please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you very much